What's up guys, it's your money cat. First of all, I apologize for not uploading videos as much recently. I changed jobs, so I've been training as much as I can, as quickly as I can, so that I can get to my regular hours. And so now that I have training wheels off, I should be able to upload at a regular interval again. So with that said, this weekend, now I finally have some time, so we're going to just hit off some of my favorite stocks, take a look at what they've been doing and where they're at right now and what our plan is going forward. So leading off, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite stocks, Tesla, stock symbol TSLA. So last time on my Tesla video, I mentioned how Tesla was forming an ascending triangle and it was at the bottom of the trend line, so it had a good chance to go up. And I predicted if it is able to clear this resistance level around 450 or so, then I think it'll have a pretty smooth sailing all to all time high around uh, that was 530 back then. Of course, I think it blew everybody's expectation and it has risen at a super fast rate. And we hit all time high of 598 and 78 cents today, very close to 600. We actually went super close to it. <laughs> we smelled it, it smelled like poop today. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't smell good, so we took a step back, but I think uh, it is definitely reachable with next week. So many people are asking, is it too late to enter Tesla or is it too late to add to my current Tesla position? So I'm going to share my opinion on it, my two cents, and where I see Tesla going forward. So is it too late? Nothing about Tesla, not its story, not its hopes, not its fundamentals or story, whatever you want to call it, none of that have changed. The stock price definitely changed, but none of that have changed. So to me, the direction is still going upward. But you might be worried that, oh, Tesla's gotten too expensive, or oh, the valuation is too high, or you heard something like that. Well, let me tell you something. That stuff have been said ever since stock price was here. It was said when it was here. When Tesla's price was here, same things were being thrown around. When Tesla reached this previous all-time high, same concerns were there. And now look where the stock is. It keeps making all-time highs and keeps going up because none of the values have changed and they keep producing and producing and producing more numbers. Now there may come a time when the actual production number finally do catch up to uh, what we expect out of Tesla down the line or what we hope to see from Tesla. And at that time, yes, I think the stock price growth may slow down or it may channel a little bit longer and may not have uh, this kind of exciting moves up or down. But I still think that time is far and far away. EVs are on fire right now. But actual number wise, like how many EV cars are there out on the road compared to the old ICE vehicles, it's still not even 10%. It's not even one tenth of total number of vehicles. So there is quite a long way to go for EV vehicles or EV companies to really take a significant chunk of the market share. So then where's a good entry point? I always say whenever people ask me about I'm looking at this stock so and so for long term, where should I enter? Overall, it doesn't matter as much. And here's why. In the long run, if you're really looking for uh, like five years, 10 years down the line, it should not matter as long as your valuation and your beliefs about the companies back it up. Let's say back in the day, this was all time high right here and you bought it in then. So then, yes, I know, it would have been super tough that you suffer through this decline, but if your ideas and your valuations about Tesla were solid and you had firm belief, then you might have been able to hold out and see all this gain. Same thing here, all-time high back then, and then it had, I think, about 17% dip right here, but it doesn't matter if you have five years, 10 years plan with Tesla, then this is just a blip on the radar. Then you saw all this gain. Even right here, before the entire market kind of tanked for a little bit, uh, back in September, if you got in then, you held through all this kind of 
sideways channeling a huge decline. This was like 35 to 40% dip. Then now you're finally seeing the gain. So that's what I mean by if you have, if you really are buying Tesla or any other stock for long term, then really this tiny or should I get in here? Should I get in here? That does not matter too much. Having said that, if you're still uncomfortable about entering a position right now because Tesla seems too high at all time high near 600, then I'm going to share with you some key levels that I think you should pay attention to because I'm your money cat. First, I think it's reasonable to think that there will be at least a small dip coming to Tesla. If you look at the RSI on daily chart, the RSI is reaching near the resistance level where it has gotten rejected before twice. So the first time was around here, and that was, like I said, about 17% dip. The second time was September here, which was, it was kind of like market broad dip, where Tesla tanked, I think, about 35, 37%, somewhere there. And so it's reaching that level again, so it's reasonable to think that there will be a small dip. I don't think we'll see this kind of dip again. That was the entire market really, not just Tesla, but I think it's reasonable to think that we might see some kind of pullback because of how steep this increase has been. So if we take a look at this dip, that was about 17%. If we look at this small dip right here, that was also about 16, 17% dip. And then this dip right here was about 15, 16% dip. So if we do have a pullback, I'm estimating it to be around 15%, maybe 17%. So 15% from today's closing price would put us at pretty much 497 let's call it 500 which is around the previous all-time high zone it was in the range of 530 but if you look at the one year daily chart then the bar actually coincides around 500 i'm not saying it'll pull back 15 percent i actually don't think it'll go that low but i think that would be about the maximum range of pullback that i can expect based on previous dips Looking at Tesla a little bit closer, this is a 180 days, four hour time frame chart. Notice that we are still uptrending very nicely. So there is actually, so far at least, there is no sign of Tesla uh, reversing and having a dip yet. I think once we break below this trend line right here, then I think we can expect a small pullback. But until that actually happens, Tesla will just enjoy riding above this upward trend line and continue moving on upwards. So what should we look out for once it does break below this upward trend line? Well, I think the very first level of support that we can look at is the previous all-time high level around 530. It's very reasonable to have a small pullback and then bounce off of this level and continue going upwards. That would be a dip of about 8%, which is only half of the maximum range that I'm expecting. And the next level of support will be around 500, which will put us at a dip of 15% from current price. I really don't believe Tesla will go below 500 unless the entire market has a big pullback. So if you're wanting to get into Tesla, but you consider this all-time high level to be a little bit too hot right now, too high, then the first level I'd be looking to get into would be uh, somewhere in this zone right here, around 530. And then if it does go below that, then the second level definitely will be around 500. If we guess a little bit more into the future, even in the worst case scenario where Tesla does pull back 15% to 500, I think that will provide a great support level because one, 500 was the all time high on the daily chart, the one year daily chart. And if you look at this green line, which is the 180 day moving average, I do think that will catch up. So once price reaches 500, I think this has a pretty good chance to come up near 500 and provide that support. I'm definitely not saying the Tesla will dip like this, but I'm just giving you possible key levels to look out for if Tesla does break below the current trend line and has a slight pullback. 
to quickly sum up, Tesla is at all time high as long as this upward trend line continues to hold firm and Tesla just rides this wave, uh, it'll continue to go up and not really going to have anything new to say. Now, once this breaks below this upward trend line, then we'll have something to talk about as far as where the support level might be. And I mentioned 530 being one of them, which is around here. And then next support level would be at 500. The first one will be about 8% dip from current closing price. And the second one will be about, I think, 14% from current price. So those are your values. I think those are key levels. If Tesla does have a pullback, it's definitely reasonable to think there will be a slight pullback looking at both RSI, which is overbought, and also looking at MACD, which is at a very, very high level, and it's very close to uh, possibly crossing over and head downward. So with that said, thank you so much for watching your money cat. I will be back with other stocks as well as Tesla updates once we have some change in direction. Please subscribe to the channel for more stock updates and analysis and I will see you next time.